we're here in, what is it, Winterthur? Winterthur in uh, Switzerland. This is like a two and a half week long festival. It was Scott night, there was um, reggae night, there was blues night, and now I guess this is Irish night. I don't know. There's a lot of. I don't, I don't know. I mean, pretty strange. I mean, there's lots of fountains and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason I thought there was going to be a lot of bands, a lot of other bands on the bill. For some reason I thought the Bouncing Souls were here. And then I find out that when I get here it's an Irish thing. And there's two bands on which is like, oh Jesus. And when you get an Irish thing abroad it's usually, it can be pretty, you know, visions of little leprechauns and, and you know, the, the usual thing. And, and we're not like that, you know. I mean I might look like one but I'm not really a leprechaun. But, um, I'm about like a foot and a half bigger than the usual leprechaun. But yeah, I don't know. I just, you know, I don't know. We're not a traditional band. We are influenced by traditional music and inspired by it. But we put our own little twist on it. And uh, I hope the twist isn't too much of us. <laughs> I mean, you know, if it is, fuck it. You know, what can you do? When I started to see the people that were showing up later in the day, right before we played, you could see that it was going to get intense down there. Show your money! Show your money! I like it when the crowd is right fucking on the stage, like hands on your monitor, like ripping shit. And it sucks because Bridget gets like a fucking tin whistle like jammed in her mouth and like Dave gets his teeth knocked in. And so we don't do it for those reasons, but sometimes they still it still happens. I'll just try to protect Bridget as best I can, like stick my fucking accordion in front of the mic or whatever. But I, I love that. It just feels like you're one of the people, you know? You're part of the crowd. There's a bond between us and them. You know, there really is. When you're playing to these people and they have that kind of reaction, it's great. It's fucking great. Thank you very much for that. Merci beaucoup. I, my accordion blew up. To me, that's perfect. It's it, that's just the way it's meant to fucking be. So I like it, you know. I like fucking bass cut out the last two songs, and it's just yeah, that's great. That's all part of it, you know what I mean? Great. Ah, uh, cheers, brother. Danke. God, could you imagine if uh, you have the fact how much I miss my family if I was out here and the people were sitting down while we're playing? Then I'd fucking seriously lose it. But people going going insane with me then it's perfect. I'm like right at home, even though I'm not at home, you know? It's surprising as all hell. You know, you seen before we went out tonight, it's like, you know, you see like ice cream and, you know, chocolate and, 
and then you do a show like that and it's like Jesus Christ it's like something's going on <laughs> we're supposed to have a 10 o'clock bus call and uh, it's not going to happen we can't get the bus into the uh, to the backstage to load up the gear so we're pushing back bus call until uh, an undetermined time until they can get all these people out of here yeah a few kids got absolutely insane but comes to the territory really. I mean people having a good time and sometimes they have few too many drinks and they just lose themselves and you gotta try and understand that a little bit. Obviously you can't have anybody hurting anybody. But you know it all turned out well. Except for the hairstyle. Right, I'm gonna have a fucking beer. Flog and Molly, in my opinion, could go on after ACDC. Could go on after the Rolling Stones. Could go on after the whoever. I'd still fucking kick fucking ass. I'm not afraid of anything or anybody. We all believe in each other. You know, and we believe in our music. Therefore, we fear nobody. Sure. We're all just fans. I think the only reason my band is successful is because we're deadly serious about what we do. Like it, it as much as it's a good time and a fun thing, like it's no joke to us. I just give it all I got because I believe in it that much. We started off in the bar, Molly Malone. I mean, and, and now we're sitting here talking to you. We just do what we do. It just sounds a different animal, you know? It was like taking real traditional tunes and turning it into a train wreck. We had people telling us, like, you know, creative fucking assholes in the industry, like, no one's ever, you're never gonna go anywhere with this, like, poor shit. If you don't hear it, then you don't hear it, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter to me. We could do anything we wanted to. Did I ever think like, we'd be in a band that'd be labeled as a punk rock band? Absolutely not, because that, that label means nothing to me. I, I, I suppose that everybody has to put a label on something. You can't be bothered b being labeled, you know? The only thing that should be labeled is, a, is an envelope, you know, and sent to its proper address. That's the one thing I know is kids aren't stupid. Kids are this, this, you gotta give them more credit than anybody else. They get it, do you know what I mean? They get us, when we didn't think they were gonna get them. They get the music, they're listening to a guy who, who you know, in some instances, you know, in the band, half of these guys, can, we can be their fathers, you know what I mean? They bring their parents to the show. It's, it's unique. Foggy Molly, I, to me, I think they're just about having a great time. They play this unique music, it's like fucking great. <laughs> She's going to do a strip tease for fucking Molly. Energetic. Gets you in the mood if you want to get pumped up. Calms you down if you want to calm down. Yeah, it makes you feel good. It was my first time I saw them live. I really enjoyed it. It was, and the crowd was magnificent. And the, the things they said, perfect, real perfect. Like, so real, man. It's like, you, he talks about what really happened to him, you know? All the real good stuff. It, it's punk rock, but they throw in like violin or mandolin or tin yeah, whistle. Yeah, accordion. It's crazy. Like, they just have their own sound. There's nobody that's like, that sounds like Flocky Molly. And nobody puts on a live show like Flocky Molly does. And every time I go to Flocky Molly show, I know that it's going to be like the best time ever. I've never loved a band this much before. Fucking Flocky Molly. I can't cuss, I'm sorry. Fucking shit, fuck. I'm here to see fucking Floggy Molly. It's always a good time, and I like to drink. My, 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 my fucking buddy won the, the fucking tickets. I'm supposed to be at work, but fuck it. My aunt actually listens to Floggy Molly. My aunt's my cousin. I've been listening since I was like 10. Oh my god. The apple now is sweet, almost sweeter than it ought to be. Not a little bite, I don't think there is much hope for me. The kid five years old likes it because it's very melodic, you know, a lot, and then that's easy to dance to. And, and all the way up to like, you know, great grandparents go to the shows, you know? 90 year old guys running and going to the show having a shot of whiskey because, you know, he appreciates the lyrics and he's, it makes sense to his life, you know? 
whether you're Irish or not. It translates. Good music translates. It just doesn't matter. And the message is universal. The message isn't about one group or one identity. The message is, is about more of a, of a whole identity of what it means to be a human being, what it is to, to celebrate life, you know? I, I, would, I would think that Flock and Molly would be put in the soul section, but I don't know if you'll ever see us next to Aretha Franklin.